Two major candidates for United States Senate squared off in what could be their only debate before the November election. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Republican Senator Ben Sass is seeking a second term. His Democratic challenger, Omaha Baker Chris Janicek, has been mirrored in controversy since June after he sent an inappropriate text message to a group of staffers. The Nebraska Democratic Party called for Janicek to drop out of the race so they could replace him, but he refused earlier this week. Reporter John Kipper now, he watched the debate and has more. The two Senate candidates squared off in Lincoln Friday, with the debate starting off on how both candidates have been rejected by parts of their own party. President Donald Trump said last month that Senator Ben Sass had gone rogue. Sass said he frequently talks privately with Trump and that Washington, D.C. politics try to put you into one of two camps. You want to shine President Trump's shoes all day, every day, or you have to hate him and scream about him how he's the devil. I don't believe either of those things are true. Challenger Chris Janicek apologized for lewd text messages he sent to a former campaign staffer. Text that led to Nebraska Democrats abandoning him. So we need to move on from that text message and we need to start talking about policy. I am not going to let five minutes of my life ruin uh, everything I've done for women's rights and women's uh, and children's shelters previous to that happening. Janicek at one point got emotional on health care, talking about how he owed hundreds of thousands of dollars after a near fatal heart attack. It bankrupted me. Nobody, and I mean nobody in this state, should have to go through that because of medical bills and a lack of proper health care. Both were asked on how they reform policing. Sass mentioned supporting a reform bill from Senator Tim Scott, saying changes need to be made. And when you see something happen, like what happened in Minneapolis, or what happened to Breonna Taylor in, in Kentucky when she's in her own home, those issues of over-policing scream out in a brokenness in our system that violates our own creed. The two diverged on how they'd handle the COVID-19 crisis, specifically on masks. What we can do to help fix this immediately is to test and to test and to test. We have to do a federal mask mandate, I feel, for everyone to stop the spread of this disease. I think a national mask mandate is a terrible idea, but the reality is lots more Americans should be wearing masks indoors. John Kipper, 3 News Now. Both said they want the federal government to curtail spending. Sass said specifically that he wanted to reform Social Security by upping the age you're allowed to receive benefits.